Hello friends, welcome to Technical Studies. In today's video, we will go through a pressure vessel drawing. A pressure vessel is a container designed to hold gases or liquids at a pressure substantially different from the ambient pressure. Let's check what the notes say. All dimensions are in millimeters, unless otherwise specified. All reinforcing pads shall be air tested with 1.05 kilograms per square centimeter gauge pressure and checked for leaks with a soap solution before the hydro test. All welded construction shall be 6 millimeters and less, unless otherwise specified. Standard raised face flanges shall conform to ANSIB 16.5. Before starting the work, you must read and make sure you clearly understand these notes. This is very important. Now, read the design data. This is a drainage vessel. The design pressure is 3.5 kilograms per square centimeter. The type of head is a 2 to 1 elliptical dish. My previous videos will give you more details about elliptical dish heads. The corrosion allowance is 3 millimeters. And note, this is a below ground tank. The material SA285 grade C is a carbon steel material with boiler quality. The main body of the tank is made of this grade. The saddle, base plate, etc. are made of SA36 grade carbon steel. The manhole flange grade is SA105, a forged flange. The manhole neck is made from rolled plate. CAF gasket sheet is a non-asbestos material made up of fibers. Also, check the bolt, nut, and electrode grades. Now, look at the nozzle data. See the flange types WN and LWN. What is the difference between these two types? WN means weld neck flange. LWN means long weld neck flange. Long weld neck flanges are like weld neck flanges, except the neck is extended and acts as a boring extension. The TL to TL length is 8,000 millimeters. What is TL? TL stands for tangent line or tangential line. It describes the point on the head where the knuckle radius meets the straight flange. What is WL? WL stands for weld line. The diameter of the tank is 2,500 millimeters and the thickness is 10 millimeters. See the description. It says the dish end is ellipsoidal. The dish blank thickness is 12 millimeters, and after forming, the minimum thickness shall be 9 millimeters. Look now at the saddle supports. This one is a fixed saddle. This one is a sliding saddle. Look at the top view of the vessel and study the nozzle arrangement. Detail W1. This is the welding detail of the dish to shell joint. The shell thickness is 10 millimeters and the dish end thickness is 12 millimeters. A one to three bevel is prepared on the dish end edge and the internal diameter is matched with the shell thickness. Back to the saddle. There are four slotted holes in the base plate of the sliding saddle. We have already discussed detail W1. Detail W2.
This shows a fillet type joint with a 60 degree bevel. It is a little confusing. One view shows the included angle as 30 degrees. Another as 35 degrees. Detail W3. This shows the welding of the manhole neck to the flange. Detail W4. The manhole neck is 12 millimeters thick and is single beveled. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching. As always, have a good day.